This is the road to Morawaya, which is the village that Bolakata Kande grew up in. It takes two days to drive there from the capital city where the airport is. These are the children of Morawaya. They come to greet us. And this is the river, the stream, where they get all their water and they do their washing. They wash their clothes, their bodies, their pots and pans in this little stream. Because this attempt at uh, making a well failed. You can see their homes have grass roofs. Some of the children have shoes. And they all have clothes, but as you can see, their clothes don't always fit. These are the, the blocks that they make, the bricks that they make out of mud to build their homes. And this little chicken is not a pet. This is Fatimata, Bolakata's wife. She's getting ready to cook our dinner. This is her kitchen. They cook for all the travelers when we go to Morawaya. And this would be a typical dinner. And this little dog is just staying warm by the dying embers. This woman is processing rice. They grew it, they harvested it, they dried it, and now she, by hand, is taking the outside husks off of each kernel. Everyone in this village has a job. The young boys carry wood for their mothers to cook with before they go to school. And the young girls usually take the, the um, kitchen dishes to the stream to clean them. And the older children take care of the younger children while the parents work in the field. Not all the children go to school. Only maybe half the children go to school. These girls are pounding dried root vegetable into flour. These young boys are actually throwing stones at the cattle to keep them out of the field. If the cattle get into the field and ruin the crops, they don't eat. This is a village hunter. He goes out every morning and comes back with food. This is actually a privacy fence around the bathroom. This is a doctor. The doctor has a motorcycle and a suitcase filled up with medication. He travels from village to village. On this particular trip, we brought 1,800 pieces of clothing and items to share, and you can see the villagers are lining up so they can receive a gift. And the Hebron Soccer Association donated uniforms and soccer balls. This is their school. And they don't have books and paper. Really, they learn everything by memory from the blackboard. On this trip, we drilled a well. It took us two years to raise the money to drill a well for this village. And I was so happy to have been there when it actually happened. Because these um, attempts are not always successful, but on this particular attempt, we hit water. And these are the soil samples. This is Bolakata in the red shirt. He's speaking with his brother and they're planning how to put, how to build a platform for their well. And this is the finished product. So it's not like turning a faucet. You have to pump the handle to get the well. And this well, the first well, um, serves 850 people in the village. And the first time this village had access to clean water, they're happy beyond belief. So we needed to have a celebration. And the women dressed in their finest clothes. 
and uh, we had in the evening we had a party, a celebration. This is a very famous flutist that came out to help celebrate and make music with us. And this is Bolacata playing his drum. And you can see the lights. There's three light bulbs. This is the only time of the year that this village sees electric light. And only because Bolacata brings a small gas-powered generator and a wire with light bulbs on it. You can see everybody came out for the celebration. In 2018, we were able to drill a second well for this village. So now the 850 people who live here have two clean water wells. And in 2019, seems like yesterday, we were able to build a bridge. This bridge is going to connect Morawaya with a major village that has a very huge uh, market for the uh, villagers to go to and sell their goods and also buy and trade the things that they need. So here's a side view of that bridge. And this is the front view of that very same bridge. You can see how long it is was almost 200 feet. I think Bolacata said it was about 185 feet long. This is a very important connection for the village. And this photo, my friends, you can see why they needed a bridge. This is the very same bridge during the wet season. In Guinea, you have the dry season and you have the wet season. And this water rises and it stops the people from getting to the market to get the items that they need. So this is why we built the bridge. And now we can tell you about our new project, which we're so excited about. This photo is Bolacata on the left hand side. The gentleman in the middle is a government doctor who has agreed to train the gentleman on the right who is going to be the doctor in Morawaya. He has agreed to bring his family from the capital city to Morawaya if we build a medical clinic. So that is what we're going to do. So on the right is our doctor. His name is Dr. Sekuba Kande. He actually grew up in Morawaya and uh, was educated in the capital and to be a doctor and he now has a medical microscope that we purchased for him and also a device to help detect diabetes and he is learning how to use this equipment before he moves his family to the village. And this is the last photo. Uh, this is a photo of Bolacata at the groundbreaking and setting of the foundation for our brand new medical clinic. This clinic is actually going to serve several, several villages. How many? I don't know yet. We won't know until the doctor moves there and uh, sets, up his, sets up his business. But we're hoping that um, we end up with a woman and infants health clinic right here in Morawaya. So thank you very much uh, for watching our video today. We hope that you learned a little something about Guinea, West Africa and life in a developing country. And uh, what I'd like to say right now is stay tuned because more, more will come. All good things are going to happen in Morawaya. Thank you.